Hi folks, it's good to be with you today, sharing the Lord Jesus Christ and His Word today. We're going to look at the Word of God in John chapter 4. It says this, But whosoever, John chapter 4 verse 14, But whosoever drink of the water I shall give him, shall never thirst, but the water that I will give him shall be in him a well of water a well of water how are you hey bro how's yeah. it going why are you standing here today god know? bless you nice why to are, see you why are you in the corner? can you answer the question for me sir i don't know sir. I'm not having no you know the quran yeah, no was it revealed was it revealed sir on bones and sticks and leaves. Know. Was it revealed, sir, on bones and sticks? I have no knowledge for that. Ask the knowledge. Can you tell me, sir, you know the Quran? Was it revealed on bones? Was the Quran revealed on bones? What do you mean, revealed on bones? Well, is there a tradition that when the Prophet Muhammad, was, or false Prophet Muhammad, was given the Quran, is it true to say that it was revealed and given on sticks and stones and bones? Oh, my friends, you're not telling the truth. I don't, I yeah. don't know. Is it true that the Quran was revealed on sticks and stones and bones? I think it says in the Is it true? The Quran was written on like bones. Is it true? No. Sir, sir, are you a Muslim? What are you saying is rubbish? It didn't say Is you a Muslim? When the Quran came, did so called angel Gabriel, sir? Did the memory. angel Gabriel memory, my friend. give it to Muhammad yeah, and then Muhammad well, yeah. got it to be written on sticks and stones and bones? Is that memory. true, sir? No, it's memory. You, you see, the Muslims are not being honest now. That's it. Muslims, Muslims, come on, Muslims. They're running away. Yeah, Muslim way. They're running away. Muslims, come, come. They're all running away. You know why they're running away? Because the tradition is that Muhammad was given the Quran and it was written on sticks and stones and bones and I was going to ask them, where are the bones? And they ain't got no bones and that's why they've all run away. Muslims have run away because they know they haven't got the evidence for the bones. Was it on a chicken bone or was it on a camel bone? They won't tell us. Okay. My friend, it was in the memory bones in the brains. No, no, all sir, right. sir. Yeah. No, 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 are you a Muslim, sir? Yeah. Yeah. He's a Muslim. You're an honest Muslim. We're, 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 you're an atheist. Is it true to say that the Muslims believe the Quran was revealed and it was written down first of all on sticks, stones, and bones? When? Not sure, but yeah, they, 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 they have like a tradition. That, yeah. Yeah. There we are. And I was going to ask them, where are the bones? <laughs> but they ran. They ran as fast. They ran. As fast as you could say, diddly squat. Are you a Muslim, sir? Are you uh, a Christian? I've never seen Muslims run as fast in my life. Why? Why? Because I've asked them about the bones. Yeah, you know the Quran is supposed to be revealed. To the... Sir, are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim, sir? They've come here, hundreds of Muslims, heckling Christians, but when you ask them a simple, sir, 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 are you a Muslim? Oh, now, sir, help us out, please. Help me out. Help me out. Just help me out. You know when the Quran was supposedly revealed to Prophet Muhammad, a we believe false prophet, yeah? Was the Quran written down on straight away by his companions on sticks and stones and bones? On bones. Well, it's funny how you've all suddenly lost the knowledge. They were all, they're all, are you Muslim? They're all, they're all changing the religion. Yes. They're all, hey guys, Muslims, Muslims, Muslims. What was the Quran written on, Muslims? What was it written on? They come here bullying the Christians every week and you've never seen as many Muslims run. Sir, come and help us, come and help us, bro. Come on, bro. See, they don't want to know. No. Even their best debaters don't yes. want to know. They don't want to know. They're scared. I think it was written on parchment. You think? I think so. I'm not sure. No, your traditions are. It was written. Your traditions. Your tradition. Sir, your traditions are that the companions wrote it on sticks and stones and bones. I can't verify that. Right? Now, here's a question. Where are the bones, bro? Bones. Yeah, was it chicken bones or camel bones? 
coming from the Arabs, they don't know about chicken. I would have to say camel. Camel, but you don't know? I don't know. Could have been a chicken. If it's a bone that's been written on. Could have been a chicken, no? It might, it might be a camel. <laughs> they might have used a camel bone to write on. So how many surahs can you get on the back side of a camel? Ooh. I'll say a few alphabets. Let me ask you a question. If you died tonight, where were you going? So what type of bone you use? You use a rib cage. Yeah, so if I use your rib cage, how many sores could I get on your rib cage? On my rib cage? Oh, about, let's see, six inches this way. Yeah. Uh, another half an inch here. So you get sore one, but you won't six get sore three. Sore three is long. Sore is long, you won't get on your... So one and a half here, Here's the point, here's the point. Thickness. Here's the point, there's no evidence no, no, thickness, for it. My friend, my friend, length. my friend, there's no evidence that the Quran has been passed to us. No evidence for the Quran to be passed to us. We haven't got the bones. So let's forget it. Quran's not the word of God. Right? Yeah, but you ain't got the bones. Now here's the point. What about the Bible? You ain't got the bones. 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 Right? Now here's the point. When you die tonight, where will you go? When I die tonight, I don't plan to die tonight. No, but if you died tonight, where will you go? How would I die tonight? I'm just saying if you did, if you did, where will you go? When I die, a better place. Where? A better place. Where? Better, place. Better than my life. Is. What does the Quran say about heaven? Of course, they're going to have heaven. It says you're going to have virgins and wives. Are you, are you looking forward to that? So do they need to believe in heaven? Every man is looking forward to You're looking forward to virgins and wives in heaven, bro? How would I know? My friend, you know what I'm looking forward to heaven? You know what I'm looking forward to? Meeting God, being with God, praising God, worshiping God, adoring God. I ain't looking forward to the virgins and the wine, bro. Why your penis don't work? But you still got to sort out the bones. Where are the bones? I'm saying, do your penis work? I like you. I like you, bro. I like you, bro. What's your name? How would you not look like forward to being a woman? We ain't got no bones, so we ain't got no Quran. So forget that, right? We ain't going to. We ain't going to your heaven because it's all virgins. Our heaven is about God, right? But here's the point. How do you get to heaven? Explain. I don't know. Let me explain to you. Yeah? One would have to die first. Have you ever lied? I suppose. Have you ever lied? One would have to pass first. Have you ever lied? Plenty of times. Okay. What will God do to liars when he meets them? I don't know. Depends on what I like. If you lie, what does that make you? There could be one lie. Obviously, lies vary. You know? Have you lied? Have you lied? Yeah, lied. What does that make you? But a lie varies, that's what I said to you. you. What does it make you though? It Imagine you, now somebody's looking to kill you. It makes you a... Yeah. And it says, who are you? It makes you a liar. They yeah? say, I'm not that person, it makes that's you, a lie. It makes you a liar. Now when you meet God, what is God going to do to liars? There's heaven and there's hell. Where are you going? I don't think liars find heaven or hell. I don't, I don't think that's, that should be the category. I don't, I don't believe that. So God in his Ten Commandments says, Thou shalt not God in his Ten Commandments says, Thou shalt not lie. And you're saying God shouldn't tell us that we should not lie. Have you never lied? The seventh commandment is thou shalt not bear false. God bless you, sir. Now here's the point. Here's the point. Have you never lied? I've lied, but I've asked for forgiveness and Jesus died for me on that cross. Now here's the point. When Christ came, he came for a reason. How, wait, listen, listen, listen. How do you get saved in Islam? How do you go to heaven in Islam? John, let me explain to you. John the Baptist said this. You believe in the prophets. He said this. Behold, the Lamb of God. That, wait, let me finish. Jesus died for you. Let me finish. What's so special about you, man? Let me finish. Let me finish. He died for you. Died for me too. Died for you, bro. Yeah. Why am I going to hell? Because you ain't believing him. I believe in him. Do you believe he died for you? I, I believe if I go to heaven. Yeah, but do you believe him that he died for you? No, I, don't, I don't know him. Look, I don't if I give you 20 Jesus quid, is. if I give you 20 quid. I don't know who Jesus is. Listen, How would I believe If I give you 20 quid and you don't take it off me and it's in my pocket all my life, it's not. I don't believe. Listen, listen, I don't know listen, who listen. Jesus is. If I give you 20, I I I give you 20 pounds but you don't take it, it's not yours until you take it, right? God has given you salvation in Jesus. You've got to take it. If you don't take it, it's not going to do you any good. What about the person that doesn't know? 
I'll come to that in a minute. I'll come to that in a minute. No, 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 Jesus. It's a good question. You know him now. Why would I, why would I go to Jesus, him? Jesus said this. Forget about me. It's I'm about a person in fucking Burma or something. Uh, let me explain. Don't know Jesus. Let me explain. John the Baptist said this. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. When Christ came, he died on that cross to set you free so that you wouldn't come under the wrath of God. The wrath of God fell upon him and he died as a lamb for you, bro, that you could be forgiven so that you won't be addicted to things, that you'd be free and set free and know the love of God in your life. The lamb died. The lamb died for you, bro. He died to set you free. What did Muhammad do for you? I didn't say he did anything for me. Do you know how Muhammad died? He was, he was poisoned. He was poisoned? Yeah. Do you know how Uthman died? He was assassinated. Do you know how Ali died? Do you know how Ali died? He was assassinated. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, it reminds me of the film Godfather. That's what yeah. Islam reminds me of. So what to Jesus, man? They're all getting so bumped up. Like, They're all getting assassinated. Film, but Jesus, but Jesus, my friend, bro, my friend. Let's talk, let's talk. God, bro, let's talk, bro. Come let's talk, talk, let's talk, bro. Come on. Don't get aggressive. Your God was naked on the cross, bro. Take a chill pill. 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 Just take a chill pill. Chill out, man. And be loving and kind and caring, because Jesus died for you. Let's take a chill pill. Let me ask you a question. Come on, man. Be a man. Come on, man. Are you a man or a mouse? You, you, you attack me with words and run off. Are you a man or a mouse? Come on, bro. Let me ask you a question, sir. You Muslim. When you die, where do you go? How do you know you're going to heaven? If you, have you lied? What's God going to do with liars? Jesus died on that cross for your lies, my friend. For your lies. And he said, he said, John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Now here, here, here. Muslims, Muslims. I, I will become a Muslim right now. And I will never ever preach. If you answer this one question, I will never preach again. Are you ready? Are you ready for the challenge? Okay. Are you, are you a man or a mouse? Are you a man or a mouse? Stand here and be a man and don't run away. Come and stand here, listen to this challenge. They're not running away, I've never seen anything like it. I thought you wanted to stand up for your faith. Right, here we go, right? I will become a Muslim right now. I will never preach right now, ever again, if you answer this question and answer it correctly. Are you ready? Here's the question. The rabbis say, do not read this passage to the Jews. The Jews, the Jews, when they read it, are told by the rabbis, they're told by the rabbis that this is Israel. This was written 600 years, seven, don't go yet, don't go yet. One minute, one minute. I like you, bro. I like you. I like your style. I like your style, bro. You got better trainers than me as well, bro. Okay, here we go, here we go. The rabbis say don't read this. When the Jews read it, they are told it is Israel. This was written six, seven hundred years before Jesus. Who is this? But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Who is it? Is that Israel? Is that Israel? What is the context? The context is the children of Israel. I, I, I'll explain to you. The context is in chapter 52, God says, My servant, right? Then in chapter 3, uh, chap listen, let, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, then we need to understand who are you talking about. Let me finish, let me finish, sir, let me finish. Yeah, yeah. Then in chapter 53, it says, who, who has believed our report? Who's that? Who's saying that? Who's saying it, bro? No, 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 I'll tell you who it is. It's the Israelites. The Jews, listen, listen, let me explain to you. Jesus came and died on the cross for you and me, right? He died, wait, 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 wait. 
He died for you and me, Gentile and Jew. But here, Paul said to the Jew first and then to the Greek. But when Christ died, he died for the whole world, for the Jew and the Gentile, yeah? But one day, one day, when the Lord is coming back, there will be a mass conversion of Jews. And this verse is a prophecy, not only of the Lord dying for us, but one day the Jews will say, who has believed our report? He was bruised for our iniquities. The Jews will realize, the Jews will realize, the Jews will, Uncle Jamal, come here, sir. Well, I've got something for Uncle Jamal in a minute. The Jews, the Jews will realize, the Jews will realize that the Messiah has been saved. Oh, I've got a song, I've got a song. Uncle Jamal, his name's Uncle Jamal. Uncle Jamal, Uncle Jamal. We'll go a heckling with Uncle Jamal. That's his name. Listen, listen. One day the Jews are going to see that the Messiah died for him. Uncle Jamal, I love you, bro. I love you, bro. You got the nicest smile in Hyde Park, bro. I love you. Why, why? We need a whip round. Guys, we need a whip round so we can get some false teeth. You said, you said, look at this. The Messiah, the Messiah, the Messiah, my friend, the Messiah died on that cross. And one day, the Jewish people will praise his name and say, Amen. He died for us. He shed his blood for us. He gave his life for us. My friend. Let's go back to what you just said. Yes. Yes. We, we were asking, I was asking you, what is the context that that verse was in? Okay. Okay. I'm going to explain that. I'm going to explain the context. First of all, I've explained who said it. The Jews. The Jews okay. right, right. Secondly, it says this. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Here it is. By his stripes we have healed. And then it says this. But they didn't say my friend, my friend. My friend, listen, listen. Listen, sir. Listen. Are you honest? Are you honest? Listen, listen. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. You have sinned, I've sinned. Have you lied, sir? Instead of God punishing you, instead of God punishing you and the wrath of God coming upon you, Jesus Christ died on your behalf. And he was crushed for you. He shed his blood for you. How is that just and fair? I tell you how it is. I do, I do something wrong and someone else gets blamed and punished for it. It's How's better, it's better than no, no, Islam. No, no, no. Here's if, why. If, if you do if the just and the fairness, if, the, if someone does something wrong, he should be punished for it. Not some X, Y persons getting punished for something that they haven't done for you to do whatever you want to do. Let me explain to you. Yeah, explain. If I throw a piece of paper on the floor, yeah. Right? Yeah. I might get ticked off by the police. Yes. Right? Yes. If I hit you on the arm, yes. that's serious. Yes. I could go for a few months in jail. I agree. Listen, right? Yeah. Now, if I hit a policeman, yeah. I hit you on the arm, I hit the policeman on the arm, yeah. I'm not going to get a few years, I'm going to get a lot more sentences. It's serious okay. because of the authority that he has. Okay. If I go and hit the queen, yeah. it's very serious. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, when you sin, you're not sinning on this level. Yeah. You're sinning on the authority, you're hitting the authority of God. So it's serious. Now, listen, so you are now coming, listen, you are now coming under the authority and wrath of God. And if he judged you, listen, Listen, you are going to go to hell. But here's the point. Jesus Christ, Why? listen, sir. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. If he's created me as a person who can sin, he's created me that way, isn't it? It was not that I started sinning because I want to sin. You have the ability and the capability of sinning, isn't it? So why am I? Be, why someone else is being punished, or why is God not happy with me sinning? If he's created me that way, okay. and he wants someone else to die for me, okay. yeah. Can, can you can you marry and, and and have a loving relationship with a robot? Um, no. Right. God did not make you a robot. True. He made you 
with freedom. You yes. have the freedom to yes. sin. Yes. You have the freedom not to sin. Yes. God did not make you lie. God, excuse me, excuse me. It's not compatible with predestination excuse, like the Bible. Excuse, excuse, it excuse. says that God knows all things. I believe in that as well, but let me just finish. That's, yeah, that's incompatible with free will. Let me finish. 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 Just for take eternity, it for the petty sins. Even Hitler does not deserve a trillion billion years in hell, which is what eternity is. Well, uh, wait, wait, take well, a chill uh, pill. According to him, take Jesus died pill. for him, and so he might not be even in hell. Take a chill pill and let me answer. Well, he might not be in hell either. Take a chill pill, let me answer. According to him. Excuse me, are we having a conversation, yeah, guys, yeah, or what? Yeah. yeah? Take yeah. a chill pill. No, he, he, he gave an example, uh, and I'm telling you, he might not even be in hell. Hitler for for he's saying how how is it he gonna be in hell for trillion or whatever he might not be according to what you're saying let me explain to you yeah we're looking at it from a human perspective yeah yeah, yeah. we think sin is no big deal no no like we, I said no no let, we let, don't think let that. me finish we let, don't think let that. me finish let me finish well you cannot say we think and let including me, finish. me mate I've listened, I've listened to him and I've listened to you okay all right mm. etiquette it's called democracy free speech of course, yeah. and I'm listening to you Listen, what's your on. name bro Ali Ali, yeah. I like your style, Ali. Thank you. I like your beard. Thank you very much. I like your style, yeah? Cheers. All right, now yeah. just chill. Yeah. Right, authority, yeah. right? Yeah. If I throw a piece of paper on the floor, it's no big deal. Yeah. If I slap you on the arm, I'll get a month. Yeah. Up, yeah. Yeah. If, I, if I hit a policeman, it goes bigger. Yeah. If I hit the queen, queen right. yeah. any little sin that you do, yeah. it's not between me and you. You are affecting an infinite God. Okay. Right? It has infinite consequences. Perfect. You are rebelling against the Almighty not God. Not right? Wait a no, minute, wait no, a minute. Not well, God has heaven and hell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And if you decide to yeah. rebel, yeah. right? Yeah. That is where you're going. Absolutely. Right? I agree but with in his you. love, in his mercy, Christ yeah. came down and took the wrath that you deserve. No, now, no, no, but wait a minute, a wait, there let is a me difference. finish. There, let there me is finish. a difference. If I decide to disobey him and, and I'm taking that path. It's a different story when I do a sin and I repent for it and I ask for forgiveness and I say I acknowledge that what I've done is wrong and I need to prepare it and rectify it. But that is a totally two different things. When you say that you're okay. challenging his authority and saying okay. you I don't believe whatever. It's a good point. Yeah. yeah. So let me hear that. Yeah. So what you're saying is, okay, I understand that bit of the argument, yes. but you're not understanding my bit. What, what, what you're saying, Jay, what I'm saying, Jay, if I repent, yeah. Why is he going to judge me? Here's the point. No, no, no. He's still going to judge you. But if you repent, you, you're asking him for forgiveness. And, and, and that's the direct path rather than through someone right. to, to him. It's between you and God. It's a good point. Let me explain yeah, to you, yeah, right? Yeah. We believe that God has a, a multi-character, right? He's a God of love. Yeah. He's a God of justice. Yeah. And he's a God of mercy. And, let, and let, he's a God that will punish people who do not follow his path. At the same time, he's merciful, and at the same time, he can have. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. In the Bible, yeah. in the book of Romans, yeah. Paul addresses this issue in the book of Romans. Yeah. He said, We are justified. He says, My grace. Yeah. He says, In the book of Romans, he says, We are justified by faith, declared right, on account of Jesus. That's in Romans chapter 3, verse 21 to 25. He said that, sorry. Paul, Paul, the Apostle Paul. Let me finish, let me finish, right? In the, in the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 21 to 26, Paul says we're de justified by faith. That means declared right on account of what Jesus Christ has done for us. Listen, listen. And his whole argument in this book is that God is just, is righteous. And in order, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, go on, go in on. order for God to show his mercy, yeah. he must show that he is just. Now, let, you're let, contradicting let, yourself. Let me finish. You're contradicting let me finish. yourself. Let me How finish. can no, let me finish? And then you're you taking too much let, time. Let me finish because yeah, it's important. Go I'm explaining to you the heart of Christianity. Go on. Right? Yeah, yeah, fine. right? Go on. When you come before the judge, listen, when you come before the judge yeah. and you've raped somebody, yeah. right? Yeah. And you repent right now, he said, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry, right? Yeah. You come before the judge yeah. and you say, Judge, I'm sorry for doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't gonna cut no muscle Absolutely. with them. Yeah. If you purposely raped that girl, Absolutely. you're going down, bro. I agree with that. Why? Because 
Why? Why? I'll tell you why. Because in order to show mercy first, you've got to show justice. So God shows justice by punishing Jesus for you. How? How is that justice? And then there's the mercy. You can go free. How is that justice? You can go free. Look, if I go to court for a rape, as you said, yeah, and he punishes him or him or him for what I've done, how is that justice? Let me explain to you. Let me explain to me. Right. You're looking at it from democracy. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm looking at it from a human being. Let me explain. Let me explain. Point of view. You if, have an example. Let me explain. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the let same example. Let, let me explain. Right? Yeah. If the Shah of Iran goes... You, your examples are going here and there. Let me get to no. Continue no. the same no. thing. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I am sticking yeah. to the example. Yeah. He's, he's, he's he's don't yeah. add hominem. Don't attack me as a person. Listen to the argument first. And then deconstruct. Yeah. Forget the Shah of Iran. No, no. I will you get an example. I give you the example. Give me... Talk to me according to... I don't keep on changing. Let me explain it as a Christian. Okay. As a Christian. As a Christian. Okay. This is Christian theology 101. Okay. Romans okay. chapter 5. Let me root it in the Bible and then I'll give you the argument. Listen, sir. But you're taking too much time. Sir, because yeah. these, your eternal destiny is at stake. And it takes time. That's the problem. It takes time. That's the problem. If you're intellectually honest... I, look, I don't sir? believe that someone else has to be punished for my sins for me to go to heaven. Let me just come in and finish this. And then you can come in, yeah? yeah. It says in Romans chapter 5, by one man's disobedience, Adam, yeah. many became unrighteous, by one man's... No, 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 no. That's, that's not true. Sir, though. you're arguing. Let me finish. Yeah, yeah. Is it many or all? Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, but it's not true. It's Let me finish. Many. Okay, go on. Let me finish, and then you can come in. Go on. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5, yeah. by one man's disobedience, many became unrighteous. So many Wait, not all. Excuse me. Many not all. Excuse me. Let me finish. Go. By one man's obedience, yeah. many became righteous. Adam was the head of the human race. When he okay. sinned, it unfortunately affected the human race. Listen, listen. When Jesus came, he's now the head of the human race. He's the chief, right? We're not, listen, we're not talking about democracy. Adam's the chief, now Jesus is the chief. Now, if the, shy, sh the, sh the guy who's the head of Iran goes on holiday, right, and shoots Donald Trump in the head, is that just his sin, or does that bring in to to no, the fight. It's just his no, 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 it's just his no, no, no. God, why, God, why, why would, what, Nick, God, look, what happened in Afghanistan America now is, is according to your logic God, because you're punishing the whole country for a person or two persons yeah, doing, doing something. No, no, excuse me. Let me finish. Go on, go on. Let me finish. But he's taking too long to do this. No, but there are some points he's contradicting himself. And there are some And then you have Thanks, mate. Thanks. Thanks. That's fine. Go on. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, bro. Thanks a lot. Right. The point that I'm getting at, sir, is that the president of the United States is the executive head. Okay. Right. Fine. Adam is the executive head. Fine. Now Jesus is the executive head. Okay. The debt that you owe God is too big for you to pay. Too? It's too big for you to pay. So God has paid your debt by sending Jesus Why? to die what for you. Too, what is too okay. big for you? It's too big for you. I just, you I, I just wanted to listen to you to rebuttal you, so please go on. So I'm saying that Jesus Christ is your head. The debt, when you sin, it's not, it doesn't affect just you. It affects God, it affects people you don't even know. So you can repent, but what about people you've affected you don't even know? I, you don't even know how it's affected God, but it is justice. No, but, but still, can I still. Can okay, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? So, 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 so you have to believe in Christ, uh, in Jesus, for, for you, uh, and to believe that he died on the cross for you to be able to go to heaven, isn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, and, if you don't, and if you don't, you're not going can to, I ask to heaven. You something? Yeah. Yeah. Can, I, yeah, yeah. can I ask you a question? So the people who came before Jesus, who didn't even know about the existence of Jesus, like the people of the Torah, the people even who were didn't believe in God or any Abraham, prophet, or, or Abraham or anyone, how, how, how are they going to go to heaven if they did not know that there is something called Jesus or someone called Jesus? Do you, do you want to ask me? I'll just stand there a minute. In the Old Testament, it says Abraham would, it said all nations will be blessed through Abraham. Yeah. So that's God proclaiming the gospel beforehand. So all nations will be blessed through Abraham. And the promise is that the Gentiles will... Before Abraham. No, this is... This is before Abraham. There were no people before Abraham. There were people before Abraham. Let me, let me explain. As well. Roman, let Romans chapter 1. Yeah. Excuse me. What no, sorry. There is a, a church which actually has Judas Iscariot as a saint. 
on the grounds that if Jesus had not been crucified, then in fact people wouldn't have been saved because he would have been kept alive. If Jesus hadn't been kept alive, if been kept alive, no one would have been saved. Therefore, Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him, did a thoroughly sensible sacred act. Well, it's a good point. It's a good point. Well, here's the point, sir. Yeah. Did God? My name's Tom, yeah. by the Tom, way. Tom. You that as well as All right. Guy. All right, Tom. Well, when Judas Iscariot did that, it was Judas Iscariot. God did not make him. How do you know? Let, let me explain. Let me explain. Tom, Tom, let me explain. Let me explain. Yeah, okay. In Psalm, in Psalm 22, it says, "They looked at me." It says they pierced my hands and my feet in Psalm 22. That's a 1,000 year prophecy. 1,000 year prophecy, yeah? Uh, that Jesus would die for sin. Now, here is here's the point. Let me finish, Tom. Let me finish. He said this. He says, when they pierced my hands and feet, they, they cast lots for my garments. Now, the soldiers cast lots for the garments of Jesus when he's on the cross. Now, it was prophesied that that would happen. It was in the plan of God, but the soldiers did that. It wasn't God. And that's the mystery, that God is in control. He's even in control of what evil men do. And it's in his plan, but it's a mystery. It's beyond our intelligence. So basically, 